Good morning. Uh, I just connected my solar panel to the line that goes inside. Uh, I got four solar panels for the meantime and is now connected going to the batteries inside. Okay, uh, let's go inside. These are the lines connecting the solar panels from outside going to the solar setup inside. Uh, this line came from the solar panel outside. Okay. From the solar panel, uh, the two lines will be this one line here. That's the positive thermal coming from outside. And this is the ground connection. And it is speed to the solar controller. That's the solar controller. Okay. The battery is charging for the meantime. The blue signal is actually the, the blue light is actually an indicator that the batteries are charging from the solar solar panels. This red light here, it says that the solar charger, uh, solar controller is alive. For the meantime, the current is not too many, it's only 0.3 amperes. But as we see it, it says it's charging the battery. Okay. The output of the solar controller goes to the battery but I will show you first the charging voltage coming from the solar panel okay that's the voltage coming from the solar panel right now 12.4 volts so this 12.4 is the one charging the battery for the meantime okay I will show you the connection to the battery the input to the solar charger is the one coming from the solar panel and the output goes to the battery. Uh, this is the battery I am charging right now. This is the negative terminal. This came from the output of the solar controller. And this red thing here is the red thing coming from the solar controller. So the output between this plus and this minus is 12.4 and it now charges this uh, solar battery. Okay? That's how the process works. So as long as the sun is sunshine, uh, okay, we got this charging current in here. Okay, and it's a pre-current to charge the battery. The positive and negative terminal of the battery goes to this uh, inverter. This is the inverter. The power input to this inverter is the terminal output of the battery. Okay, so if you want an alternating current, okay, there should be a battery that is charged and it is fed to the inverter. So if the voltage is more than enough to power up this inverter, you will have an alternating current. I think uh, for the meantime we now have a, an alternating current. I will switch on this uh, first inverter here. It's alive. Because uh, the solar battery got more than enough charge to power up this inverter. Inverter is a machine that converts direct current to alternating current. So for the meantime, we the output of this inverter now is an alternating current. It's 120 volts. We are here in the USA. The voltage is 120. Okay. 
and uh, I plug in a lamp and it's lighted right now so actually we are powering up the lamp using this uh, inverter okay that's how we use uh, solar energy if you need the battery voltage, uh, you could use actually another light for uh, lighting the, for having another light. Like this one here, I got a, an LED lamp. The power source of this LED lamp is not an alternating current, it's DC. So if, if I will connect the terminal of the LED lamp to the battery, I could still have a light. See, so in s solar uh, energy, you could you could have two classes of lamp: a, a DC lamp and an AC lamp. A DC lamp will be tapped to the battery, okay, battery, battery battery terminal, and for the AC lamp, you will get it at the output of the inverter. Okay. That's how we use uh, uh, solar energy by having an inverter and a battery. Okay, so I will repeat it for the last time. The solar panel coming from outside goes to the solar uh, controller. Okay. And from the solar controller, we could see the, how many voltage uh, the solar panel is giving and how many current it gives okay the output of the solar controller goes to the terminal of the battery it goes here plus and minus okay uh, what's the use of the solar controller uh, solar controller uh, is used to control the current so the battery will not be overcharged that's the use of the solar controller so even though you tap this uh, positive and negative terminal for the whole day, as long as you have the solar controller, the battery will not be overcharged. That's the, it's just like a voltage regulator for cars or for vehicles. And solar energy, we call, we call it solar controller, solar charge controller. Okay, uh, I will repeat it for the last time. This is a light. I want an AC lamp to be lighted. I plug in a lamp over here. I switch on. And I got light. That's an alternating current coming from solar energy. S solar panel, it goes to the solar controller. Solar controller, it goes to the battery. The battery goes to the input of the inverter. The output of the inverter will be any load in which it needs alternating current. Uh, I plug in a portable AM FM radio over here and it is being powered by this uh, inverter on the right. Because I got two inverters, first one and second one. Oh, so that's a, an alternating current powering up in a portable AM FM radio. happening to them now and in this book you know, there's a lot of material about um, Israel including a map and uh, yeah. some other things that will be available. yeah guys uh, that's for the meantime it's being powered up by an alternating current coming from the first inverter this is the radio 
the apocalypse, and you can get this book during the month of March okay. for a gift of an The other one, uh, an Easy Lamp, powered by the Persian Burton. I will shut off the lamp. That we're able to continue to do what we do so that's the Lord Jesus Christ. 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 That's it. Okay, uh, good morning, Los Angeles.